So I'd like to uh, read a short statement by Suzuki Roshi. He said, when you say yes, you forget all about yourself and are refreshed into some new self. Before the new self becomes an old self, you should say another yes. So, uh, saying yes. So, it's a great practice to say yes. Uh, you have to, of course, you have to be wise, so what you say yes to or how you say yes. But to meet uh, life with yes rather than no. It's, uh, I've been told it's one of the primary principles of improv, improvisational theater, is uh, you, all, you never say no. But that wouldn't be a very improv way of saying it. <laughs> you, know, you always say yes. <laughs> the, um, and so, as, you know, I guess in improv, someone comes and does something and you just, you receive it, you take it, and then you say yes to it, you do something with it, as opposed to resisting it. So, so, so what, so to say yes, something comes, someone comes, something's happening. And what's it like to receive it with a yes rather than a no? Now, if someone comes to abuse you in some way, you don't say yes to that, right? But, uh, you, uh, you know, but you don't say yes to the person. But uh, there, is a, there is an art to knowing how to receive whatever happens, or a lot of what happens, and, um, and find something that you can say yes to that turns the situation around in a way that it needs to turn around. Um, there's some way of uh, someone comes to you and offers you some food that you don't like to eat that food. <laughs> you know, I'm supposed to say yes to what I don't like. Not only I don't like it, but it makes me sick. <laughs> it has, you know, has something in it that I'm allergic to or something, you know. So, so, uh, People say yes. What does I say yes to that? Well, maybe what it means would be you start by saying, "Yes, this is so generous. Yes, how great that you're offering this to me. Yes, this is really great, and you should know something about me. I'm actually allergic to this. So, so you receive it and take it in. Many years ago, there was a woman who was living with us. Uh, she was visiting. She was a visiting exchange student or something, and um, for a few months from France. She was extremely shy, and um, and she was going to f- uh, fly back to France for the end of her visit. And uh, I offered to drive her from San Francisco, from her home to the airport. And it was a genuine, beautiful. I think it was quite nice, simple wish to do something nice for her. Kind of be nice to offer that to her. And I had time, and it seemed like a nice thing to do. And it came from a nice place inside of me. And she said, "No, no, no, no." And so she said no so much that I said, okay, I guess I can't do it. But I felt a little bit sad that, uh, that my generous wish had been cut, shut, cut down or not allowed to, you know, to be lived in the world. So someone comes and offers you a dish you're allergic to, you say no, I, oh, I can't do that. You know, that's, that's a saying no. And that, that, that's, you're saying no to more than just the dish, you're saying no to the act of generosity. So can you say yes? So how can you say yes? So say yes, yes, this is really generous for you, but you should know something about me. 